in the nursing program, you have your lecture, which is where you go and you sit in a classroom setting. And then you have clinicals where you're actually in a hospital setting. So you go and you do every class, you have a different rotation. Clinicals is a way for us to apply what we learn in our lectures. So it is a practice. You go there and you practice what you learn in your lecture class. So you'll spend time with a nurse that works in that unit, and it's usually about 10 hours uh, each week. So you have pediatrics, you go and you are with children, you know, anywhere from an infant to a teenager, anything 17 years or younger, and you go and you're a nurse, you're a student nurse, and you're able to do everything that as a normal or actual nurse can do, but with your instructor or with a licensed nurse. So you're actually in a hospital setting but as a student nurse. So in lecture, they provide you with certain teachings like, uh, for example, assessment. You're looking for an assessment of the skin. So you're having to look at different uh, places. You're having to look on arms, or if they want a focus assessment for a pressure source, you're looking at the elbows, the, the back, your scapula, the spine, the buttocks, the bottom, the heels, to make sure that there isn't that skin breakdown. So whatever you're learning in your lectures, you're practicing in your clinicals. So as a student nurse in a clinical setting, when you go into the hospital, there are very strict requirements. Like for example, right now I'm wearing earrings and a ring. In an actual clinical setting as a student nurse, you're not allowed to wear any jewelry, nail polish. You have to have your hair tied back. You can't have your hair down, no dye. It's very specific. For us, the males, we can either wear a white shirt underneath our scrub tops, or you can go without it as long as you're not wearing a necklace. I wear a necklace underneath it, a scapulari that my grandma gave me, so I choose to wear the white shirt because I'm not taking that off. So, and then besides that, it's, you have to be, your uniform has to be iron, your tops and your bottoms. You have to show up with a pen light, your scissors to cut off any bandages, a uh, pen that I choose to have four different inks to take notes and your stethoscope. I took off my lipstick because I wanted to show what we really look like when we're on the floor. Uh, you don't want to be having bold lipstick or uh, bold eyeliner or eyeshadow. Uh, we want to be professional and we want to look as simple as possible because our focus is not us, it's our patients and their surrounding and making them comfortable. So the less we attention we have on ourselves, the more attention is on the patient, so that's usually how it is even in nursing school. You're there throughout their shift and it's kind of like giving you a little taste of what it's going to be like when you're a nurse and you're out there practicing and you're having to take care of five different patients. So it's a good kind of test run, but it's also essential to ensure that you are comfortable and you know what you're doing and you can practice your skills and um, practice your time management, practice your critical thinking. I loved clinicals, I loved the interaction, being able to you know, provide that care and actually work as a nurse even though you don't have a license, you're able to do everything as a nurse that you can, it's just, it's worth it.